I uh, went for a jog recently, and uh, I was running along the canal. And uh, I'm jogging, having a good time. Canal to my left, some bushes to my right. And I see a guy standing in the bushes, kind of on the edge, and uh, he's got his penis out. And <laughs> it's a nice penis. It's a, it's a nice British penis. And, um, which is to say it wasn't circumcised, you know? And uh, I love a good British penis. I just, cause it's, you know, it's like a little, little breadstick and a sock or something. It's nice. And I, I looked at it with envy because my penis is gross, you know? Like in the, it, it, you know, I'm circumcised cause in the seventies in America, they just cut some of your dick off when you were born. And so my dick is, it's, it's just all scar tissue. And it, it's like, it kind of looks like if you dropped like a cheese Danish on a barbershop floor. It's just, it's, it's <laughs> There's like a toenail in it. I mean, it's just... And, I mean, my, my penis isn't totally off. There are some cool things about my penis. Like, it can be like a bunch of different sizes, uh, for one. Like, at its biggest, it's nothing remarkable, but it's recognizable as a human penis. You don't have to like, take a picture of it and send it to your mom and be like, any ideas, you know? You're like, huh? He's doing the best he can. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eh. That's the biggest. And then, then it can be a bunch of different, like 40 different sizes down to really alarmingly small. <laughs> like if it's cold out and I'm near a body of water, it's just like, like a little, looks like a little white oily almond. Um, it isn't actually oily, but it's just like shiny. You know how if you see a snake and you're like, oh my God, it's gonna be slimy. And then you touch it and you're like, oh, it isn't. Oh, wow, you know? <laughs> but you have to like, you can only rub it in one direction because of the scales. It's like that. Um, anyway. <laughs> you know, it's funny, my boys aren't circumcised. And so whenever they see my penis, they're like, ugh. Like, I mean, I don't like wake them up in the middle of the night and I'm like, look at your father's penis. I mean, you know, if it like flops out on the couch or whatever. And they're like, daddy, what is wrong with your penis? And I'm like, oh, where do I begin? <laughs> they're mad at my parents for circumcising me. They're like, what did they do when the doctor went to do it? And I was like, I think they asked him to do it. And they're like, eh. <laughs> when my mom visits and asks them to clean their room, they're like, furiously <laughs> tidying. Okay, I'm sorry, Grammy. it's clean, it's clean. <laughs> anyway, so I'm running along. I see the penis. I enjoy it. I keep jogging. And, uh, but then I'm like, wait, you know what? I'm not the only person who uses this path. You know, for me, not a big deal. It's just a little penis, how do you do? But for everybody else, that could really be upsetting. You know, like if it's a mom with kids and stuff, I don't want that to happen to them. So I'm like thinking in my mind, like, what do I say? How do I warn people about the penis? You know, I don't want them to trip over it and fall in the river and die. Like, <laughs> and you have, it's such a thin little strip of thing. You either fall in the river or you have to go in the woods and live with them. So um, <laughs> I'm running along thinking like, okay, I'm just got a penis coming up six o'clock, penis. <laughs> Look out, you know, and, but then I'm like, I'm, I've been running for a while and I'm big and sweaty and I, that's, if I approach you on a canal, you're already like, oh no. And so I was like, uh, so I just didn't say anything. I let people see the dick guy because that's just one bad thing that happened to them that day. Instead of two, me, you know, accosting them and penises. 